This is an unboxing of a Seth Thomas Beehive clock I ordered through um, eBay. So I just want to see how the packing was done and the condition of the clock. well packed with this interesting cardboard stuff. That's cool. That's good. Oh, nice. Okay, now the clock itself. <clears throat> okay, I don't hear anything rattling around inside, which is good. Suggests that the uh, springs haven't let loose in shipping, which is good because that can be kind of catastrophic. So you notice it had this stuff on the outer packing, then the bubble wrap, and then it also is wrapped with some shrink wrap to keep the little parts from getting loose. That's pretty nice. Now one bit of damage I noticed with this clock is that Somebody at some point took off most of the original finish, and you can see that original finish on the back here and on the inside in the pictures. So at some point I'll have to decide what to do about that. So this is interesting. It's wrapped this way and that way. scratch the finish cutting this off. And there's the fob and the incorrect key because it says the key says Gilbert and it's a Seth Thomas movement. But I assume the key is the right size. We'll find out pretty soon here. Okay, now let's take a look inside and see if the springs let go in shipping and all the wheels are ruined. Ah, it hasn't. This is very good. So you can see what seems to be the original finish here. It's in good shape. And yeah, this spring is wound tight, so there may be some problems in the, in the time side here. And the strike side is fairly loose, so it probably still runs. So that's it for the moment. Okay, let's look at the front here. Looks to be in pretty good shape. The bezel opens pretty easily. The hands are okay. And like I said, the finish, something strange happened in its life. You can see it up here, the remnants of that. <clears throat> and then the back opens up to the inside. We can see. So, first thing I'm going to do is put the uh, bob on. Let's see what happens. Okay. This might be the original bob. It's hard to tell. 
I have to look that up. I'm pop this in here. Come on. Okay. Okay, well that's good that it at least ticks at first. It's a nice sound. And let me turn the hand to the next half hour. I don't think it rings on a, a strikes on the half hour. Oh. Okay, strikes once on a half hour. Huh. Heard it go into warning. Okay, it rang two and the front says 11, but that's, that's nothing. Um, the slow speed of the striking suggests to me that the striking is kind of gummed up. It's kind of dirty. So um, I was planning to clean this clock anyway, so I'm going to need to clean it. So the last thing, let me try the key here in the front and see if I can wind anything. Hmm, interesting. It's a very quiet wind on the time side. On the strike side, equally quiet. The key is kind of a tight fit on the outside for uh, the uh, holes in the front. But we'll get the right key, because as you can see, I don't know, this one says Gilbert. Yeah. Uh, well, it says WLG Co., which is William L. Gilbert Company, clock company. Okay, so the next thing to happen to this is uh, for me to take it all apart and clean it. And uh, that's going to be a whole different thing because uh, that's going to take a while, and I have a couple of clocks ahead of it in line. So.